The U.S. Forest Service is seeking public comment on a proposal to increase fees at certain areas and add fees to new areas in the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest. Fox 13 News anchor Brian Schnee spent part of today in Big Cottonwood Canyon, which could see fees at popular trailheads for the very first time. At more than 2 million acres, the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest is one of the most popular national forests in the entire United States. This forest has really unparalleled access. There aren't very many national forests that border a large metro area and have the kind of, of access that we have. Some of the most popular areas of the forest are a short drive away from the Salt Lake Valley like the Donut Falls Trailhead in Big Cottonwood Canyon. I was here on a Saturday the last time I was here and I had to park all the way down the road here. This trailhead is one of 119 developed recreation sites that are a part of a proposal from the U.S. Forest Service for fee changes. In Big and Little Cottonwood Canyons, 11 sites would be subject to fee adjustments, including some increased fees at campgrounds and new fees at certain trailheads. It's a way of generating fees that will supplement the work that we're doing. Uh, we can use the fees to hire additional personnel. We can invest those fees in the facilities and make them better. And, and we think that it will be a way to enhance the recreation experience on the Wasatch Front. <laughs> Certain areas on the forest have been subject to fees over the past few years, such as American Fork Canyon and along Mirror Lake Highway. But this would be an adjustment for people along the Wasatch Front, at the north and south end of the forest, and in the Uintas. If they're adding amenities and things like that, it seems, it seems worthwhile to me. After being like in Colorado and other places, I feel like a lot of places charge like $5, which doesn't sound like a lot, but... It can be to some people. I was driving up here today and I actually thought about that before I ran into you guys. I was like, you know, this is great. I don't have to pay to park here and go for a quick hike or something. The fee proposal has been in the works for a few years. If approved, a three-day, seven-day, and annual forest pass would provide access to Forest Service managed sites. The fee would apply to the vehicle, not to each individual person. The entry for a lot of state parks is, is comparable to what we'd be looking at for, for some of our campgrounds and some of our trailheads. The America the Beautiful Pass, which provides access to national parks, would also be honored at these sites in the proposal. 95% of the fees that we collect stay here on the forest. So they're, they're not going back to the treasury. They're here to be reinvested in the recreation resources here. When we spoke to some of the people here at the very popular Donut Falls Trailhead, they didn't even see the notice of the fee proposal posted. The Forest Service is still seeking input on this. If you'd like to do that, we'll show you how on our website, fox13now.com. In Big Cottonwood Canyon, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.